Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I have my first spring tutorial for you and it is an orange and yellow somewhat of a soft cut crease with a dramatic wing and lashes kind of type of look and I love how this look came out. I really didn't have a plan for what I wanted to do today but I knew that I wanted to do something with oranges and yellows so I just kind of put palettes in front of me and just kind of came up with this and I really like how this came out. It's really easy to do. Um, obviously I use the tape on the edges of my eyes which always helps me with the wing. That's really the only reason why I use the tape. But yeah, I really like also the lip that it's paired with it. It is the NYX uh, Lingerie in Push Up. And it's just a really, really good nude shade. I feel like this lip would also look really good with a... This lip would also go really good with like a really dark black smoky eye just because it's so nude. It's kind of like a little bit lighter than your actual lip shade or even your actual lip shade. But I definitely recommend this lip um, lingerie thing. It's kind of like a matte liquid lipstick, but it's very um, hydrating. So it's not going to dry your lips out. But yeah, I really like how this look came out. Um, I really wanted to do something glowy and just really spring ready like just because it's been super warm here. Well, not super warm, but more towards like 30s, 40s, 50s ish in New York. So the past couple days I've been doing like a little bit more dewier skin and just fresh makeup. And I really like how this look came out. I hope you guys do too. If you like this look, make sure you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on updates when I upload. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you like this look, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Alrighty, guys, so we are priming our eyelids. And just letting you know a little tip, if you're at the end of like a tube or something, cut off the top of it because you're still going to have a lot of excess product in there. So just a little tip to save you some money on going out and buying another tube when there's still a lot more product in there. Now going in with the Lorac Mega Pro 2 using, using porcelain and the other shade, I forget what it's called. And I'm just pre pressing that all over my eye just to set the primer. And then adding tape as usual, going back in with those two lightest colors in the Lorac Mega Pro 2 palette. It's actually porcelain and custard, that's what it is. And I'm just patting this on my eye with just a flat brush, nothing crazy. So then after that, we're going to be getting a little crazy with the colors. So then we are going to be going in with the Lorac Mega Pro 2 palette and using the shades, I think it's Melon and Tangerine, yeah. And we're going to be putting that on our lid, well, actually no, on our crease with a tapered blending brush. And I'm just blending this in my crease. I really don't want to get this on my lid at all. Then going in with the Anastasia Artist Palette and using the color Fresh. And I'm showing you where I'm holding my hand on the actual brush. The further away you hold your hand on the brush, the less pressure you have. So you want to apply this with the least amount of pressure on your hand on the edge of the brush. Then I'm going to be moving my hand a little bit towards the brush, as you see right here. And just putting a little bit more pressure just to blend that in together. I hope that made sense, but... Um, yeah, so we're just, and then I'm taking a pencil brush because I really want to make the, uh, the, the pink, the yellow a lot more pigmented. Then going in with a clean blending brush and just blending everything out. And then going back in with the yellow and adding some more. This is all like a trial and error type of thing. You want to just add, blend, add, blend, add, blend. Then going back in with that blending brush, as you can see, it's just a lot of blending. And just blending everything out. Then going in with the color Sugar in the Lorac Mega Pro 2. I'm putting this on my brow bone. I feel like this really, like, you need a brow bone highlight for this look. Just because the rest of the look is so matte. I feel like a brow bone highlight just looks absolutely stunning with this. And on the inner corner, I apply that as well. Then going in with my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I'm going to be lining my eyes. Well, I'm going to be kind of drawing or outlining my line. And then I'm going to be going in with the NYC Liquid Liner. And then filling all that in. I wanted to leave like everything in and I didn't fast up the video or whatever or put it in speed or whatever. I wanted to show you really how long it does take me. And it does take a while. I didn't put the whole like clips of me putting my wing on just because that would take forever. But yeah, so this is my process. I kind of draw out the wing with the tattoo liner and then I color it in with the liquid liner. Then I go in with the N uh, no, the NYX um, black bean pencil. I'm doing it right here. It's not a good clip. And I like just kind of make it a little bit more darker. Then taking the off, tape off and applying some lashes. I use the Dodo lashes in the style D115. I feel like these lashes went perfect with this look because they're dramatic, but you're still able to see the shadows, if that makes sense. 
Then just tight lining my eye with a black pencil from Smashbox. And then I'm going to take a little tea break. I'm a tea drinker. What kind of drinker are you? Coffee or tea? I have an obsession with tea. But yeah, so now after the eyes, we're going to be moving on to our face. I really didn't show a lot of my face just because I did do a foundation routine very, very um, recently. So I will link that foundation routine below. And I've used the Sephora drops and the Luminous drops. And I use the Makeup Forever HD Photo Finish Foundation, which I've been absolutely loving. Then I'm just brightening up my skin with a little bit of, actually no, a lot of bit of the Becca Cosmetics Color Correct or Under Eye Brightening Corrector. Then I'm going in with the NYX HD Concealers. Actually, honest, honestly guys, these are my favorite concealers. They're like $5. You can get them at the drugstore. I am obsessed with them. They literally go on amazing. They brighten up your face. They conceal. They are amazing. Then taking some of the shades in the BH Cosmetics Sculpt Sculpting Palette, I think that's what it's called, and just bronzing up my face, and then I'm moving into contouring. I use the City Color Cosmetics Contour Effects Palette to contour my face. This is a oldie, and I absolutely love it. It is so amazing. Then after that, I'm going to be, uh, what am I doing? I'm adding some blush, and I use Milani Luminoso Blush, and I skipped baking because you guys have seen me do it a lot, so... Yeah, just adding that. I'm currently laughing because I'm watching Fuller House right now. But anyways, so now we're going to be highlighting. And I use, I'm i using Gilded Honey by Laura Geller. And I forgot how much I love this. I'm literally bathing and just drenching myself in highlighter because that's usually what I always do. But this is an amazing highlighter. She's actually coming out with a couple more. Amanda Ensing just posted about it actually. So I will be picking those up once they are out because they are just amazing. So back to the eyes, we're just smoking out our lower lash line. I wanted to do, I didn't want to smoke it out as much, so I just put a little bit of the yellow and a little bit of the orange, I just kind of blended it out, and that was it. I also did apply a white eyeliner in my inner corner, I mean, in, in my waterline, but I lost the clip of that for some reason, I'm sorry. I, sorry. But yeah, I did apply a the nude liner in my waterline. So after that, we're going to be lining our lips, and I'm using the NYX Lingerie like Matte Liquid Lipstick from NYX. And I am loving it. It is in the shade Push Up. I think it's like a your lips but better type of shade. I don't know. It's absolutely stunning. I completely recommend it. And after that, we are spraying our face with the Stay Matte um, Finishing Spray from NYX, which I am obsessed with. It literally does keep me matte. Like, I'm going to talk a little bit more about it in another video, but absolutely obsessed. And then this is the final look, guys. I really hope you guys enjoy this. It's something a little different. And make sure if you have any requests, leave them in the comments below for me. I love you. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Scarlett, you are in the shop. You need to move over. That's not fair, Karina. Am I in it now? Wait, I think you are. You are.